Hello, Justin. Hello. Re- How are very you, nice Sam? to see you. I'm very well, thank you, mate. How are you? Good, great. We're looking forward to the new year. Good, good, same. So I'm going to go through some questions. Um, you can introduce yourself and we'll just see where it goes. So first question, tell me a little bit about you, what you do and where you were at before you started the program. The program being Six Figure Design Club. Yeah, so I'm Justin Maybe. I'm a Squarespace designer. I've been working in Squarespace for over 12 years now. Um, before I jumped into um, your course, I uh, I was making about between 10 and $15,000 a month. Um, but this past year, 2023, was actually the most up and down uh, with my business um, than it had been previously. Um, and so I had been looking to improve that and get closer to a much higher amount. Previously, before that, I was regularly making, you know, 20, between 20 and 30 K a month. Um, but it went down uh, in 2023. So looking to get that back up in 2024. Okay, perfect. I was uh, realized I'd muted myself there. Oh. <laughs> perfect. Okay, so um, why did you sign up in the first place? I mean, obviously, it's going to be to make more money, but was there anything else that that motivated you to to pull the trigger? Yeah, I think just meeting you at Circle Day really kind of honed in on it. Um, you've got a, a great mind to you, and you you've got a great way that you've um, kind of structured everything, uh, and it really just made it made sense to jump in to see what you'd been doing um, to really improve my overall income. Cause at circle day, I, re- I learned a lot of things about my own business from other designers and how they were running their business, including yours. Um, and so realizing I needed to make some changes and make some updates, I, I figured that the course would be a great way to start that out. Perfect. Perfect. So what sort of stuff, this isn't even in the questions, but I'm interested in this. What sort yeah. of stuff did you pick up at circle day? Because Everyone who went, myself included, said, I learned so much. I learned so much. I met all these people. So what let's let's just say what was the biggest takeaway for you in terms of uh, I need to go away and implement this right away in my business? Yeah, you and I have talked about this a little bit, but I had just kind of realized that um I had made the client the enemy, um, kind of overall. Like I had kind of forsaken my overall business and structure and form of how I did everything in favor of making money Um, and trying to get those deposits in and trying to get projects going. And then I would lax on those projects and they would take forever. Three week projects turn into three month projects and they shouldn't be. Um, And I would be looking at the client as the enemy overall, you know, offended by feedback and, and kind of annoyed with a lot of different things. And I just, learn from a lot of people including you sam at circle day that um of what i was doing and what was happening and that kind of led to the more up and down of this past year um forsaking my uh overall structure with my business and how clients weren't booking me because they were confused on what they were getting from me um and so I really learned that I needed to come back and look at everything and say, okay, how can I make this a tensor experience for people? How can I make this a much better experience for people where they want to continually come back and tell other people about me? Yeah. Makes total sense. You're hitting all the, all the correct buzzwords from the course. I love that. (laughs) Ten star experience. Clients, not the enemy. I think that is, it's not something that people preach that the client is the enemy necessarily, but, in what they say, it, that, that's how it comes across. Like, if you think common, uh, not common knowledge, but the common conception is that, okay, we have to we have to say to the client, this is the scope. You can't go beyond the scope whatsoever. And if you do, I'm going to charge you ten thousand dollars. And like, uh, as you've just alluded to, it just creates this horrible experience where they don't even want to come back. They don't want to tell other people about you, and then because you've been pursuing more deposits and more money inadvertently you end up making less money and it's this it's this strange vicious cycle so yeah i'm I'm really happy that you got that clarity and obviously it wasn't just from me it's from speaking to other people as well but yeah Yeah. i think i think circle day was it was it was 
<laughs> I want to say transformative, but that sounds a bit woo-woo. But yeah, <laughs> no, I, I think it was, I think it was great to see everybody because I think I went, I went the previous year, and it was a little bit more. It was the first time they did it, so like we're all trying to get our kind of our feet wet and figuring out, you know, what what this is going to be, what it should be, and then this past year it felt a lot more personal. It felt a lot more like um, for us as designers. Uh, to learn more things and learn from our peers um, and also be rewarded from Squarespace as well. Yeah, because I, I was going to ask you that in, like, what was the difference between the first a Circle Day and this Circle Day just gone? And I guess you kind of just hit the nail on the head. It was more personal, would you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was a little bit longer. It felt a little bit more intimate um, than before. Like, I think we all just really didn't know what what was going to happen uh two years ago and especially you know coming off pandemic and then like everybody realizing oh we can be in person again um <laughs> was i think crazy but i think um yeah this year like they had a lot more time to prepare and know what people were looking for um and i really think one of the best things was that we got to uh, meet people who actually do a lot of the work and engineering and we got to meet anthony and we got to like hear more about like history of Squarespace and where he sees it going. Um, that was really huge for me. Yeah, very interesting one that actually meeting the brain behind Squarespace, like, because we we were in the room with Anthony, weren't we? And uh, yeah. they, they went around, like you said, oh, introduce yourself, introduce yourself. And I was watching everyone, listening to everyone. And it come around to me and I forgot that I had to say something. I was like, uh, uh, and I was looking at Anthony <laughs> just crumbling. I was like, oh, Anthony, uh, I'm Sam, big fan. I'm a big fan. Oh good. Yeah. yeah. But it was yeah, amazing. Hopefully, um hopefully it'll be, be even better this year. Yeah, I think so. I think with all the um all the shouting from the rooftops that we've done, I'm sure even more people will come. So yeah. I'll try Absolutely. and get more people from the UK over. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So uh okay, this is this is the juicy one. What tangible okay. benefits have you had from the course and the program as a whole so far? Yeah, I think um, I think the biggest thing for me is it's just been a little bit more consistent with my income um, than it has been before. I've been able to get people through the through the pipeline faster um, by having a set structure and a set like onboarding form and getting the information that I need. Because um, one thing I actually forgot to mention was that I um, I never had an onboarding form previously. And so I would just randomly ask clients for stuff when I needed it, but then I would need everything to start the website, but I wouldn't have it. So like, I forgot to ask them about it. Um, and then now we're like three weeks in and I still don't have anything to start the website. And I'm wondering why I can't build the website it's because I don't have anything from the client because I didn't ask. And so, um, that was, I think one of the most tangible things that I like added that fixed a lot of things. People knew where they need to go um, and what they needed to get with me. Um, and uh, yeah, just income has been a lot more consistent over the last few months as I've been, you know, letting you guys know in the Facebook group as well. I've loved, I've loved seeing that. I've honestly just, people are so hesitant to talk about numbers. And I feel like just having a space where you can say, hey guys, actually, you know, I actually made 20K this month. Uh, I This is exactly how much I made this month, the next month. It's it's amazing because you can't usually talk to people in uh, the, the real world, I guess, about numbers because it gets uncomfortable. So that's mm -hmm. that's great. And what, what I would also say is, you know, people come into a course and sometimes they think, oh, this needs to change my entire life. It needs to change the every single morsel of what I uh, of what I do. And for you, okay, there's probably been some other changes, but something as simple as this is, you know, you need an onboard form. This is how to set up an onboard form. That was all you needed to plug a gap to then go, oh, okay, now I've got consistent leads. It wasn't mm -hmm. this complete overhaul. You just needed one thing to fix your peaks and troughs issue. You wanted something more linear. And, yeah. you know, for someone else, for someone else, it might be different. But the good thing is that, there's something that can fix anything for anybody. So that that yeah. honestly that that is amazing to hear. Like if you got nothing else from the program as a whole, at least you got an onboarding um, form. <laughs> got, 
yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like the smallest thing, but yeah, it's um, yeah. such a big fix. I, I love that. Um, is there is there anything else? I'm not going to press you to say that I, you know, I changed your life, but yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the dogs are freaking out. I, did, um, I can't hear it. Don't worry. Okay, good. Um, the, so another big thing was just uh, having a structure to my day. So I have ADHD, um, neurodivergent, and um, I would look at my day and I would say have two two calls like today, and I'd be like, well, I'm not going to do anything until that call comes in, you know. Then and then once the call's over, it's like, well, I got so much to do, and then I don't do any of it. And so having a structure of inbox zero, which I I'm normally an inbox zero guy, but um, but it's just taking care of it in the beginning of the day and then not focusing on it throughout the day has been helpful. So inbox zero and then pitching for a short period of time and then uh, brand building for a short period of time. I would constantly be you know, critiquing myself saying, well, I'm not in the forum and I'm not responding to people and I'm not like talking to people about stuff and I'm not in Facebook every day. And it's just a matter of putting a little bit of time in every day. Um, which I think was huge for me and it and it gets me into the mode of working that first like hour to two hours of working on those you know four or five things like admin tasks and branding and pitching um, it makes me feel like I'm actually working on my business and then I can move into client work um, and that actually helped me build a home page yesterday it's just by doing those four tasks at the beginning of the day and then I built out a whole home page in two hours and sent it off to the client they loved it so yeah, structure to my day really helped too. Yeah, I think that's such a big thing is that it's almost contrary to what people say. You know, you heard the phrase eat the frog at the beginning of the day, you know, it'll be the worst thing you do all day. I actually I actually think it's the other way. Like I often find it hard to gear up to do something incredibly hard at the start of the day. And so doing it like what you've just said in that, okay, let's just focus on some admin, some low hanging fruit, just to build a little bit of momentum up for that first part of the day. It just makes it so easy. It just, it just like almost feeds you into the hard stuff and then you complete mm-hmm. the hard stuff. And then, you know, it's easy peasy because once you're doing hard stuff, it's easier to continue doing it, but it's really difficult to start hard stuff from scratch. Yeah. And I have a coach who, who said to me over the Christmas period, it was, he said, just give yourself permission to turn up at 60%. And that sort of got me out of that linear thinking of it has to be all or nothing. So if you apply that to you with like the brand building and the pitching, et cetera, it's like, no, you don't have to go all in for two hours. And if you miss it, like if you miss your pitching, oh, well, then the day's gone. Like I can't do anything else. Just do a little bit every day. Okay, yes, it may be 40 to 60% of what someone who was going balls to the walls, you know, would do but then you're doing it every single day. They're doing it once or twice a week. And so mm-hmm. I love that. I love that it's give you stru- like structure to your day as well. That's perfect. Yeah. And um, what else have we got? What else have we got? Okay. This is kind of the same. So, you know, you're allowed to veto this question if you want, but I've got, what are your three favorite things about the program? I mean, I think uh, I I think I I only based you know previous stuff included. I think that's two two out of the three. But I think the other thing yeah. that I hadn't mentioned they, they is two answers. yeah yeah. I think I think what the other thing I mentioned or hasn't haven't mentioned is that um, I just love how down to earth you are in the in the videos. I think it's just it's like you said. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent all the time and if you miss it you know it's terrible i think that just being able to understand where you're coming from with with your business and what you've done before just strip all the things out of it like you don't need notion you don't need canva you don't need like all these extra things like i it, it is amazing to me that all you use is apple notes but i need a little bit more structure than that um, but, uh, but I think just hearing your experience and how down to earth you are and how, um, how expressive you are with everything that you do, um, has really helped a lot. I really appreciate that, mate. I, I was sat there with a big ear to ear smile there. Thank you. I think, yeah, you're right. I see, I see this a lot with, with not, not, 
gurus, but people who are teaching systems and the focus is too much on that system. And it's just, you get, you get lost in the weeds and you think, oh God, I need to do uh, six bits of software admin today. And I need to, to get a client on board I need to filter them through four different forms and get them signed up to six different software. And it just, it just takes, oh, well, it just puts so much stress on a project. Whereas, you know, little old me comes along and says, notes, spreadsheet, done. That's all you need. But okay, yes, it's simple. And you can add some more stuff on. But because it's so simple, you can start clients up right away. You can get started right away. And it just removes all the friction. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I won't, I won't yeah, stop it... smiling. <laughs> There we go. Sorry, I had niche. Got this tail right. neck on. Yeah. Get the Steve and, Jobs uh, look going. Yeah, yeah well, I, <laughs> I had to get changed before this video. I didn't want to come in in a, in a hoodie. <laughs> you could have. Yeah, I usually do, to be fair. Um, what have we got now? If you were to recommend Six Figure Design Club to your best friend, what would you say? Um, if you want to be a Squarespace designer, this is the only way you should do it. Like, don't don't look at me. Because, you know, like I, what I did can't be re replicated. What he did, what's, what Sam's doing can be replicated. I think that's the biggest thing is I think um, you've put everything into a structure that is easy for anyone to understand and anyone to get started with, um, whether they want to make 1200 a, a day or 1200 a month. Um, so I think, yeah, it's just, it's just easy to jump in right away. Amazing. Amazing. And there's just one more. One more before I let you go. What yeah. has surprised you the most um, or made you the happiest about joining so far? Um, just hearing that other people are doing are dealing with the same stuff that I am. Um, because working for yourself and not in an office with, you know, coworkers, you can kind of feel like you're kind of shouting at the world and nobody's listening. Um, even if you have a Slack group like I do of like a community of designers, you know, they're not on there every day and you might put something into the ether and then nobody responds. And so I think just hearing that other people are struggling, that other people are going through things just the same way that we are. Um, of course, you make it look like you have no problems, but I'm sure you do, Sam. But, uh, oh, I've but got, yeah, I've I think got problems. I've got problems. Don't worry. Yeah. So I just um... having that community. Yeah, I, I really like that you said that because that kind of transcends business almost. It's like we, oh, the vast majority of us work alone. We just sit in our offices, you know, all day or we sit in a coffee shop, What you know, whatever it is. And we can't speak to people who aren't web designers or people who aren't Squarespace web designers about the problems that we have because whilst they may say, oh, that sounds terrible, they don't know what that, they don't know what that means. If we say, oh, we've got a client and they haven't sent over the domain registrar details and, you know, the deposits not landed, whatever it is, you know, if you say that to someone who's not in our sphere, they'll go, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but they can't relate. And then they can't say, oh, I'm actually having that same experience. Here's how I alleviated that. Or here's, you know, here's how I solved it. And so I really like that. And that is why specifically I wanted to create a community is because everyone doesn't just have to go and watch the course content and then figure that out alone. They can just go in, join the community. And if they have questions, obviously they can ask me, but they can ask everyone else. And yes, you can solve each other's problems, but if someone else is winning as well, it's a motivator and it gets you gassed up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, honestly, perfect. You are the very first person to come on this, um, this interview as well. So I'm, we've kicked off with some strong answers, very strong answers. Awesome. Thank you very much, Justin. So we'll end yeah. it there. Um, if anyone wants to see your work and get in touch with you, where would they find you? Justinmaybe.com. My last name is maybe M-A-B-E-E. -E. Um, so if you put a Y in there, you're wrong. Um, so, but I do own the domain M-A-Y-B-E-E.com. So if you get it wrong, you should get there. So Very smart. Very smart. All right. Thank you very much, Justin. Thanks, Sam.